I'm Mark Allen, and I'm visiting this afternoon with Tex Wilson. Many of you probably might not know who he is, but you've seen his work around Slayton, especially the Slayton Muriel that is in downtown Slayton and also on different prints in different locations and different offices around the Slayton community. Tex, welcome to our call today. Thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate it. Well, we, nice appre- to with you. we appreciate you. Now, now you're not living in, in West Texas anymore. You live out uh, near Seattle. Is that right? I do. It's 50 miles north of Seattle, a little town called Mount Vernon. Well, 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 very nice area out there. Uh, <laughs> yes. you got some trees out that way. Oh, yeah, we got a few. Well, well, we appreciate you very much. Hey, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, your roots here in West Texas, and, and, and uh, how everything started with you here in West Texas, and then uh, you moving out to uh, the Washington area. Well, I was um, born there in Slayton. And, um, you know, I went to uh, Westward uh, Grade School, and I went to Slayton High School, and then I graduated in 1946, and I uh, started at Texas Tech when it was a college, and they had offered uh, a degree in commercial art. And uh, I'd been wanting to be an art, some kind of an artist ever since the third grade, so I just uh, had an opportunity to do that, and I jumped at it. Well, and then you worked here in this area too, right? In the art field, uh, also in advertising. Well, I worked um, on the, when I was in college. I worked on a railroad with the Santa Fe there, doing different uh, um, <laughs> different uh, types of work for the rail, Santa Fe. And um, but then uh, during the uh, school year, I worked part time for S and Q Clothiers, which was a men's store, you know, and I learned something about advertising and window display and those sorts of things. And uh, whenever I finally got my degree, after three years in the Air Force, I, uh, in 1954, I uh, uh, had made a trip to uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where uh, my um, fiancé at that time had moved. And so we got married, and then I uh, started working in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and, and that's where I stayed for like 30 years. Wow, wow. And, uh, well, you know lots of people around here, around the Slayton area for sure, and, of course, we see your, your stuff everywhere. How did you get started uh, uh, in the art area, in, in the field of the, the things that you do right now with the cowboy art and the railroad art? Well, I'd always been wanting to uh, do things like that. Uh, my brother and my uncle had been a kind of an inspiration for me to do something on the Cowboys of the Old West. And as a kid, I spent a lot of time on my grandmother's farm down around Post. And, um, you know, I did uh, a little bit of cowboy work, but <laughs> except it wasn't with horses. It was just doing some, uh, you know, castrating and, and doing things like that around with calves. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, I got into talking to my uncle about doing some cowboy stuff, and I really enjoyed it like that. But then what got it me started with the railroad stuff, because my dad had been working on the railroad, um, in that, uh, working out of Slayton, and uh, growing up in a railroad household, you kind of, you know, a lot of that stuff rubs off on you. And I, uh, after I retired from the advertising business, I uh, started doing some uh, things on railroading, talking about the people that worked on the railroad, because I guess my dad must have been speaking to me from the great freight train in the sky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, so I got all inspired to do some of that stuff, and uh, I'm mainly talking about the people, because you see a lot of railroad art that has, uh, you know, the the engines of different types and the rolling stock and all that, but not much is, is said about the people. Right, yes, yes. So my philosophy is that... Uh, I do it in a sort of a montage uh, composition, and it sort of engages the viewer uh, to get take part in the art. And uh, each time they look at it, they might see something they hadn't seen before. Well, that's wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, uh, you have a love for the Harvey House here in Slayton too, don't you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But I was doing everything I can to help help with that restoration uh, from a distance. And, uh, you know, and I donated a bunch of my pieces of artwork uh, uh, to those folks and then also offered some, uh, uh, what they were doing, some upgrading and uh, remodeling and uh, things of the future. And I had done some artwork uh, uh, dis- uh, depicting all of that. Yes, and, and your website is texwilson.com, correct? Correct. 
and yeah, and, and you can see uh, folks can go there and look at your different uh, different prints that you have and the different uh, areas and the scope that you that, that you work in. Well, what are you do- what all are you doing nowadays? Are you, are you, are you still active art wise? Uh, are you, are you fully um, retired? What all are you doing? Well, I'm somewhat uh, engaged in it. I'm trying to uh, market some of my uh, G clay and uh, hand colored prints on my off of my website, but. Uh, Mainly, I've been doing some uh, putting together some uh, DVDs on uh, 60 years of our family life, and also doing uh, DVDs uh, depicting our our um, family heritage, with my wife's heritage and mine uh, going all the way back to, you know, like to somewhere in the 1800s. Oh wow! Well, wow. now, now so you're, been, you've mentioned your wife several times. It, it was she from Slayton or from Post? No, she was born in Latvia. Okay, all right. And uh, we met when I was in the service. Okay. So uh, we that's why she and her, her parents had moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And uh, I just followed along, and I thought, well, that'd be a good place to start, but I wanted to move back west. But, you know, your know, family gets started, and you get anchored in to... Uh, job and all that kind of stuff, so you you just kind of stay there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, do you make it back to Slayton, Texas very often? As often as I can. I, uh, I think the last time I was there was when they had the uh, centennial celebration. Yes, two thousand eleven. Right. Yeah, just a, just a few years back and, and everything. Right. Yes, yes, yes. But as long as my folks were there and my brother was living, uh, he went back. You know, at least every other year. And uh, but now that uh, most of my uh, family's pretty well gone i uh, don't get a chance to get down there and also it's getting harder and harder to travel as you as you get up to the old up ages you know <laughs> yes 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 it is mm. well uh we appreciate you so much, Tex. You know, looking at your website, it is loaded with uh, some wonderful information and and content and and everything. And uh, we look forward to, to talking to you more. So, so tell us again what you're working on right now. What are your current projects? I'm uh, working on the uh, the DVDs um, about um, the, the, our family life, uh, sixty years of our family life, and setting it all to music. Okay. I take it by in, uh, ten year increments, you know. So I'm putting ten years on one disc, and then I go to the you know the next disc. However, our family heritage, I've been doing it, setting it all to music, and then narrating as well. So now also designing my own uh, disc uh, labels and my own covers for all that, you know. So that's still using the creative juices, but I haven't been doing a whole lot of painting lately, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's what I'm. Uh, using that, that as my creativity lately. Well, well, we appreciate it. And folks can get a good taste of uh, of who you are and your history and everything at TexWilson dot com. Yeah, and I uh, I just uh, had such a you know great time uh, working on that and uh, designing that mural. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. That, that was uh, they asked me back in uh, oh gosh uh, late ninety seven. If I'd be interested, of course, I, uh, I jumped at it. You know, I just thought I'd be delighted to do something like that, giving something back to my hometown. Well, and it's a it's Slayton. It's it's it, it depicts <laughs> Slayton and tells us who Slayton is and who we yeah. are and and everything. It's uh, well, all wrapped up in one. Well, I tried to do that. You know, knowing the the history of that town and growing up there, and I just felt like it needed. Uh, that kind of an approach, and as well as, uh, and all of, also the uh, all the artwork that's in the Harvey House, that's you know that um, tells uh, mostly of, was my background telling about you know the people that work there. Yes, it, and it sure sure does. Well, we appreciate you so much for your time today, and well, uh, look forward to having you again on here. You know, d- down the road, uh, bring you back and everything. Talk about current projects and show some examples of it on myslayton.com. dot com. And sure. uh, we thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule today. Well, I appreciate it. You know, I really, really enjoy talking with you. Thank you, Tex. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.